Good morning, ELC family. Pastor Jerry here. Miss you guys a ton. Um, hope y'all, I'm sure y'all had a great uh, Sunday yesterday with uh, Pastor Blaine. And uh, you, you may be getting this on Monday or on Tuesday, but uh, we're here in um, Oregon in the Central Coast. And uh, you see the water. You see how I'm dressed. I'm in my sweats. And it's chilly here. And unlike I hear in Las Vegas, it's 111 as normal this time of year. But I want to thank you guys, first of all, for allowing us to come uh, as my family and I kind of just recharge for, for this next phase of 2020 uh, as we break through in prosperity in every area of our church, of our lives. Uh, I know some of us are going through some challenging areas in our lives right now with jobs, with sicknesses, uh, but God has not left the throne, hallelujah, and we're, we're going to keep moving forward and keep allowing God to bless us as we keep walking in faith. And so to continue the video I had last week about praying in tongues, are you praying in tongues yet? You've had a week to kind of begin to practice on that, and hopefully you've begun to pray in tongues. I'm going to give you guys two ways to start. Uh, and number one, um, when you pray in tongues, what you're doing is you're acquiring the presence of God in your life out loud. And uh, that's one thing. And the second thing is you are also resting in his presence. And when you rest in his presence, there's that shalom there, that peace, uh, that peace that transcends all understanding. And so when you're praying in tongues, you're building yourself, you're building yourself up on uh, your most holy faith. And also um, you are allowing the spirit of God to flow through you and you're praying the perfect prayer. And so if you've never prayed in tongues, I'm going to kind of walk you through that now and help you guys, because this is how important it is that I'm spending time talking to you about that because it is such a powerful tool as a Christian, as a spiritual Christian, to be able to pray in tongues. So what you can do now is just, begin, you know, f first of all, I want you to designate a time in your day that you can go and just have a quiet time because for some people it's embarrassing to start out with this kind of thing. Uh, for for some people it's it's unnerving, it's do I sound funny? And you know what? You cannot judge a gift that's not yours. And praying in tongues is a gift from God, and it's not yours. It's yours to use, but it's God's to give. And so no matter how you sound, you can't judge that, but you know that it's a heavenly sound. Hallelujah. And so I want you guys to begin to um, find time in your day. Make time. I'm sorry, not find time. Make time in your day. I'm walking down this path right now. It's kind of cool. Um, make time in your day maybe five minutes. And this is specifically for those who haven't prayed in tongues before. Um, find, find time in your day, make time in your day and go ahead and just begin to thank the Lord and put on some worship music, read the word and just begin to say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, I just praise your name, Lord. I glory in your name, Father God. And it's very easy for me because I've been doing it for 30 years, but for you all who are starting out, it may be pa pa ta ta e ki ta pa pa. You may go pa pa ta pa e ti a e e e a a. Just begin to say out uh, vowels and consonants. Ka ka e na 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 e ki ta ta e ki da da sa ta e ki a a a a e e c c c na na na. Just begin to say it, and then as you begin to say it, and as you begin to literally lose your mind, <laughs> the Bible says to have this. Well, the Bible says to have this mind in you, the same mind, the mind of Christ. And so you begin to lose your mind. You begin to um, allow your mind to, to become almost dumbed down and let the spirit of God begin to flow through you. And so you do it over and you do it over and you do it over again. You can do it in the shower, in the bathtub. You can do it uh, while you're getting ready for work, while you're making breakfast, while you're making dinner, while you're at work, while you're coming home, while you're going to work, while you're working out. Um, and just begin to lose yourself in his presence. And you just begin to thank him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And the Bible says that you pray in tongues, you speak in tongues, you sing in tongues, you pray with understanding, and you can also interpret tongues. And so my prayer for you today is that all of my ELC family, all of our family members will begin to pray in tongues on a regular basis. I'm talking every day. I'm talking an hour a day, an hour a day. 
I see the geese over there fighting. See that? Those are geese this, 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 over there. Anyway, my prayer is that you all will begin to pray in tongues more and more and more and that you allow the Spirit of God to flow through you more and more and more. And then when that happens, there's a song that says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look, look, um, I think, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look, look, um, I know Miss Margaret knows it, but look, look, look lovingly. I think it's look lovingly in his glorious face and the things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. And as you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, as you begin to pray, um, God's prayer over yourself, over your family, uh, you'll begin to see things. They may still happen in your life, but I, I believe that they'll happen less and you'll be able to throw at the enemy and push those things back that have been pushing against you. And you'll have the power through the Holy Ghost to do what God's called you to do. All right. We'll see you guys this Sunday. We'll be back on Sunday. Thank you, Pastor Blaine, for, for being a blessing to this house. You're awesome. Um, and we'll see you guys here in a few days. We're going to enjoy this 55 degree weather here just for a few more days until we come back to the oven of Las Vegas. And um, we love you all. Thank you all for allowing us to go off and just be refreshed and be recharged, our whole family. And we're believing God for great things for Empower Life Church in 2020. It doesn't matter if, if we're in quarantine and COVID, we're going to keep believing God, trusting God. We're going to keep having church. We're going to keep moving forward and we're going to keep believing and knowing and walking in faith. Just like I'm walking on this road here, right here. We're going to keep walking in faith that God is, is, uh, is, is, is on the throne. And, um, well, the Bible says that, um, that when Christ is lifted up, he'll draw all men unto, unto him. And so when we lift up Christ, when we glorify Christ in our lifestyle, he draws men to us to see him. So when they begin to come to you, make sure you let them know who did the drawing. It's not you. You're just a conduit. You're just a pipe. You're just a faucet. And, uh, and what's flowing through you is the Holy Ghost because you're praying in tongues. Amen? All right. One last look here in Oregon. Uh, we're going to go have coffee, my wife and I. And um, just, just be blessed. So we love you guys, and we'll see you all this weekend. Bye-bye.